Hello everybody, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I figured I'd give you the very last book haul and very last video of 2021, so let's get into it. The first book I have to show is The City We Became by N.K. Jeminson. I am really intrigued by this book, namely because this follows the city of New York and its different boroughs, but it's where each of the boroughs has a personality and can talk, and I just find that so interesting. One thing I absolutely adore in books is when inanimate objects have feelings and emotions and can be represented by people and this is exactly what's going on in this book and this follows each of these burrows because they have a soul they have to band together and take part in a battle or a war that's going on within this city other than that I've got absolutely no idea, all I know is I'm intrigued and I absolutely love this cover and also it's got sprayed edges, it's gorgeous. Now the next book I have is actually a big collection of stories and this book is Black Sci-Fi Short Stories. This is basically curated by a bunch of different black authors and that's all I know about it, it is absolutely stunning again. And I don't actually recognise any of the names within the story collection but I can't wait to read it and then hopefully discover some brand new authors and if I like their short stories in this I can check out more of their works. Up next we have a sequel to a book and that is The Last Graduate Lesson 2 of the Schoolmance by Naomi Novik. I kind of enjoyed the first book in this series. Um, I do know on booktube and book twitter there's a lot of discourse around the series and there are a lot of things said so I am hoping that with this second book the author has fixed some of those issues but we shall see. And this is a Dark Academia novel series that follows our main character Elle as she is learning to use her magic, learning the school system and it goes on from there as always there's a big issue that's happening that Elle has to help and sort out because of her type of magic. Her magic is also very very powerful so she has to learn how to control and use it. I am going to show you the next two books I have together because they are part of a series and that is The Memory of Babel and The, and the Storm of Echoes. But both of these are by Christelle Dabos, I think is how you pronounce it. They've been translated from French and I absolutely adored the first book in this series. I loved our main character and I can't wait to see what happens next. I haven't read the second book but I am already for when I do. I'm going to put these down because they're heavy but this series follows our main character whose name I cannot remember and it follows her having an arranged marriage and one of the concepts of this fantasy world is that her people or her family each have a section of magic so one magic she possesses is that if she touches an object she can see that object's entire history she can also travel using mirrors which is very very handy for her especially because the marriage she's been arranged into she is not consensual about it she does not want to be married she does not want to leave her family she does not want to leave her job her job is at a museum and because when she touches things she can see its full history it means she can be very accurate about the as a curate of this museum and she hates leaving it behind and the story follows on from there. There is so much more to this world and this story than just that but that is the main crux of it. Next up we have this book and this book I bought a long time ago and I just didn't haul it and I've actually forgotten what it's about and if you give me a minute I'll remind myself. Okay so from reading through it it looks like this is a book of fairy tales 
and they are taken from the classic fairy tales like Rapunzel, Beauty and the Beast, but these are then given a dark twist and I'm really looking forward to seeing what that twist is and how this book handles it. Um, this book as well, I don't think I mentioned it. It is called Beasts and Beauties, Dangerous Tales and this is by Soman Chiny. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know, I'm so so sorry. Um, one thing that I was also drawn to with this book is the illustrations in it are amazing. So we've got this one. Um, we also have coloured illustrations in this collection as well and I can't wait. Recently, in the last like six months or so, I have been in a big, big fairy tales reading kick and I can't wait to read this one because it's just going to add fuel to my already obsessive desire to read any and every fairy tale I can. Okay, some of these I generally don't remember getting but I'm happy I have them. Next up we have Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. Again, I've got absolutely no idea what this is about so give me a second. Okay, so it seems like this book follows two worlds. So we have our world and then below the cracks of the city there is another world full of monsters and demons and all that kind of fantasy stuff and our main character it seems falls through the cracks between this world and that world and ends up in that world and it looks like this book follows him from there and how he handles that world and actually it seems like it follows him as he discovers maybe it wasn't an accident maybe he actually does belong in that world after all i am really eager to read this i've not read many neil gaiman books but i can't wait to add this one to my collection so next up i don't know what possessed me to pick this one up i've heard lots of good things about it and that is station 11 by emily st john mandel this book i think is about a pandemic and part of me is wondering why did I pick up a book about a pandemic when we're still in a pandemic. I was clearly very intrigued and wanting to read it. I still do but I'm not sure when I'm going to pick it up because I don't know when I'm going to feel comfortable enough picking this one up. So yeah I've just read the back and it's about a deadly virus killing a lot of humans and people having to go on the run and hide and protect themselves so I I don't know when I'm gonna read this one it might not be for another few years yet but I have it and I have heard good things about it and finally we have Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth I think that's Lim I can't really tell I think it's meant to be an L um, and this follows our main character as she discovers she has forbidden magic and on her betrothal day, so on her wedding day, when she gets very overwhelmed and then loses complete control over her powers. And she's not meant to have these powers because she's a princess of that realm. And so because of this, it means she is banished. And while she's banished, she finds out that actually maybe the throne isn't as safe as everyone thinks it is. And there may be a very, very dark plot to take over the throne and our story moves on from there. When this first came out, I saw it everywhere. Booktube, book Twitter, Bookstagram. Literally, this book was everywhere. And I'm really looking forward to reading it because it does sound very intriguing. Um, but I will say, I'm looking at some of the names and I will definitely need to look up how to say these names. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're watching this when it's due to be uploaded, it will be New Year, so Happy New Year. I hope everyone's had wonderful holidays. And let me know down below a book that you've recently bought, or, or maybe a book you got for Christmas. Just let me know what books you've recently got, because I'm always looking for another recommendation. I'll see you later. Bye!